Welcome back to our Friday field trip in the beautiful city of Miami. And of course, beautiful homes line the beach here. But a pale in comparison to a house that is under construction in the Orlando area. NBC's Janet Shamling is at the 90,000 square foot mansion called Versailles. Janet, good morning. Hey, Savannah, good morning to you. Well, if it looks like a palace, it is no coincidence whatsoever. When the couple building this house honeymooned in France, they visited Versailles and discovered, sadly, it wasn't for sale. So they've recreated it here. And along the way, it's become the subject of a movie and has faced foreclosure. But now it's back on track and poised to become one of the largest homes in America. Enormous doesn't even begin to describe it. Some airports aren't this big. We never sought out to build the biggest house in America. It's just, it, it's like kind of happened. These are scenes from the film this Queen of Versailles. Brand. As timeshare mogul, 77-year-old David Siegel and his 47-year-old beauty queen wife, Jackie, build their super-sized dream home. So by the time we both got what we wanted, now it's 90,000 square feet. For a while, it was a fairy tale. At one point, the market fell. But as the economy nosedived in 2008, construction stopped cold as the Seagulls faced the same fate as so many over leveraged Americans. Uh, I finally had to list it and put it on the market. Now, three years later, construction crews are back. What is the intent now? Are you finishing it to sell it? Um, no, we're finishing it to actually finish it, but we do want to live in there. After all, even with eight children, they could stay put. It's kind of becoming one of the most famous closets in the country it's right now. Their current house is no starter home. 26,000 square feet. Most of our house is formal. 15 bedrooms, we're four bedroom. kitchens. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Are you and a closet urban dwellers could live in. This is bigger than most New York apartments, I think. That's yeah. what I've been told. <laughs> it's 10 miles from the office. And Their royal replica right. is just a two-minute Rolls-Royce drive away. No, How tall is the ceiling in here? This 45 is feet. 45 foot ceiling. Right. You could put a four story building in here. There's a playroom, homework room, a roller rink, bowling alley, 30 car garage, 10 kitchens, three pools, and two tennis courts. But no one's packing moving boxes just yet. There's at least three years worth of work still to be done here. And as for the documentary, knowing what you do now, would you do it all over again? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, but what I would do different if I had known so many millions of people would be seeing it is I would have worn more makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Siegel says his company is profitable and they could afford it, so why not? He did file suit against the filmmakers, however, saying that it unfairly portrayed his company. That suit was dismissed. As for Jackie, she's embracing her newfound freedom and says when she gets this thing built, she's interested in a reality show. Savannah, back to you. Hmm. No surprise there. Wow. All right. That walk-in closet was much bigger than I my apartment. Yeah. Not even kidding. Yeah. Much when bigger house, than my apartment. When you need a GPS to find yourself <laughs> in a house, that's not good. Ten kitchens, you'd like right that. There. Yeah. Wow.